Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a beat in the style of Logic using BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to 90 BPM and the project key to F minor. I then add a virtual instrument track and select the drum pads boom bap classic kit. The first drum sound I add is the closed hat. These play on 16th notes with every other note playing at a velocity of 80. You can hold option on Mac or alt on Windows, then drag notes to duplicate them. Next I add a snare. These are placed on the second beat and the last 16th of the second beat. Plus I add a quieter version with a velocity of 76 on the last 16th of the third beat. I copy this pattern out to the second bar, this time deleting the second snare. I want to layer the snare with a clap, and I want the clap to be quieter so the snare is dominant in the mix. So I use a velocity of 77 for the louder claps and 53 for the quieter ones. The kicks go on the first beat, before the second beat, halfway between the second and third beat, and before the start of the next bar. For my chord progression, I'm going to use the synth keys lo-fi saw instrument. This part's going to be a little jazzy, so I'm going to use some seventh chords. Here we have an F minor seven. This is followed by a D sharp major with an octave above the tonic. Finally, we have a D-sharp minor 7 in the first inversion, so the third is the lowest note. I want this part to have a little more vibe, so I open the Effects tab and select the Dimension Chorus preset. I also want to balance the beats and keys, so I turn the drums down to negative 4.5 dB and the keys down to negative 10.5 dB. Next I want a bass sound, and for this I'm going to use the synth bass sine bass instrument. This plays the root note of the first chord and the fourth and fifth of the subsequent chords. I turn this part down to negative 10.5 dB too. The parts are more or less balanced, but I'd like the drums and keys to pop more, so I use the tone graphic EQ effect. On the beats, I boost the 200 Hz, 1.6 kHz, and 3.2 kHz bands by plus 3 dB. On the keys, I boost the 800 Hz, 1.6 kHz, and 6.4 kHz bands by plus 2 dB, and boost the 3.2 kHz bands by 5 dB. Now I'd like to create another section, so I duplicate out the MIDI clips as I did with the MIDI notes earlier by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and dragging them over to create an 8-bar section. I'd like to make a transitional effect to the next part, so I add another virtual instrument track, and this time choose the SynthPads Cloud Fluff instrument. And compose a climbing arpeggiator style sequence. I take this track level down to around negative 8.5 dB. To make this sound more psychedelic, I select the filter delay preset chain in the effects section. To smooth this out, I add a tone multi filter and automate it to open up over the sequence.
For the next section, I want a jazzy piano feel, so I create a new instrument track and stick with the default piano grand piano sound. And I copy the chords over from the previous section. I want to have a piano melody play over the top of the chord, so I'd like the chords to sound a little softer. So I add a multi-filter effect and set its frequency to 700 Hz. Then I add another grand piano track and use this to play my melody. I don't want this to be overly complicated, as I'd like the beat to keep flowing smoothly, so I sequence something simple but it still has that jazzy feel. I drop the levels of both piano tracks to negative 4.5 dB. To create a simple arrangement, I just copy out sections one and two. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!